So I'm finally back to working on this Mitsubishi receiver and the one of the problems was no FM. Um, I've been working on this thing off camera because uh, I've just worked on it here and there a few minutes at a time and it was just too much of a hassle to uh, set the camera up and everything and also my workbench is so small my camera right now with the little tripod is almost at the very edge um anyway uh what i first did here i'm gonna make sure this thing is off so i don't short anything out is i first thing i did when of course i turned the unit on put it in the fm position and hooked up an antenna to it and all the inputs and outputs to the tuner section go through here. What I did is I just took my signal tracer and I listened here if anything was coming out. And nothing at all came out. I didn't know which of these pins was what. So I basically just um, tried. Basically I just tried them out just tried them out I didn't so, get anything um, what I decided to do then is um, right after this RF section there's the first I think this is the first IF section here the intermediate frequency section here there was a shield over here I took that off and um, I fed in a signal let me go ahead and get the little test um, wires that I used so once I got the shield off I decided to um, test the inputs and outputs going to this IC the IC is a LA1235 what it is is a IF amplifier and pin number one is the input and I believe pin number six is the output so, first thing I did at the output, which was pin number 6 right here, I fit in a 10.7 megahertz AM modulated signal through this little, through this little capacitor here. And this is a 100 picofarad capacitor, so it wouldn't like um, load or detune the circuit down I use a small capacitor so basically now I'm going to be feeding in a 10.7 megahertz uh, amplitude modulated signal it's going to be modulated by 400 Hertz and you'll be able to hear the 400 Hertz sound here this is the output now um, once I go to the input which was I believe let me look again. I have a schematic. I don't have a full service manual, but I have a schematic here thanks to uh, the pointer from Jack, the Vintage Electronics Geek um, pin 1. And because I'm feeding in the same signal now, uh, same signal level, it should be a lot louder here at pin 1. And you notice here. I got zilch coming out so my next step then what I'm gonna do is check the uh, voltage going into the IC which I should have did right from the get-go so let me go ahead and do that get here set up okay so um, I think the supply voltage is around 12 volts and if I look at the schematic here now you can see what I'm talking about pin 1 the input pin 6 here's the output so again I fit in that same signal level since it's much earlier in the chain basically I'm feeding in the same signal level and uh, it should be 
of course it should normally it should be amplified so it should be loud here but then a lot louder there but that didn't happen at all so uh, what I'm going to do next is check pin 11 which um, is the supply voltage I think the supply voltage is about 12 volts and go from there now I'm going to be measuring the supply voltage and pin 11 is 8 9 10 11 right there no oh, what am I getting I'm on millivolts so I am getting something 2.5 and what happened to the rest of it and that goes to this resistor here zero that can't be oh okay it's um supply voltage is around 12 volts and it's 11.64 but I'm getting a massive voltage drop here I don't know if the IC is loading this down or I have a problem with this um, there is a resistor there let me go ahead and um, take a closer look at that okay R8 or was it R18 R18 that's the resistor and it shows it to be a 22 ohm resistor so I got the board out of course it just unplugs which is um, quite handy so now let's measure R18 here see what we got Something is not right here. Let me go ahead and unsolder this here. We get um, set up. Make sure I was on the right one. Or right. it's hard to the camera's in the way, so it's yeah. That was it. Okay it's all over the place so I ended up trying to resolder the pins here and that didn't make any difference at all so what I'm gonna do now of course which is what I hate to do I need to take this shield off here on the other side so shut the camera off for a few minutes so here's a resistor it just fell apart when I tried to take it out I don't know if it's got something to do here they put some kind of glue here to these capacitors I guess to keep them in place and um, it looked like at one side here this is all discolored look like the glue got on there I don't know if that actually over the years just crept in there and caused that I'm not quite certain about that so anyway um let me go ahead and take a closer look at all the other resistors here see if I've got the same problem and then go ahead and try to put in a replacement resistor so I got another resistor temporarily soldered in you can see here the leads are still sticking up I haven't snipped anything yet um, so what I'm going to do now, I of course I checked the resistor before I put it in and it was, as luck would have it, I had exactly one 22 ohm resistor here for whatever reasons. So I'm going to go ahead and check that voltage again and see what happens. We turn this thing on. There goes that annoying sound again. So let me go ahead and. Oh, I'm finally getting something. So 
so I don't think I even have to check the voltage. Let me go ahead and add an antenna here, back in a second. Okay, I've added an antenna now. You can see here sticking out here, um, right there. This is it to the 75 ohm input. And it seems like everything's okay. So I'm not even going to take a voltage test, but a voltage test, well, I guess I could do one. So it's showing 11 volts, right over 11 volts with the, of course it's, uh, the circuit's working now, so it's loading down the power supply voltage a little bit, but this, I think it's, um, I think it's good, so now if you look right here, this is where one of the um, solder pins from the heat sink was going, I couldn't get it out, and I think I ended up applying a little bit too much heat and you can see it, it actually came off but um, which isn't really a problem though the other ones are all still intact I mean stuff happens 